Hi, it's Stuart Sutton at Remax One. I hope you're having a great day. 2014 showed some very nice improvement in home sales in Berry Creek, Georgetown, Texas. Very simply, the number of homes that sold increased nearly 10%, 9.57%. So you saw 115 home sales in Berry Creek in 2014, up nearly 10% from the year before. Now, homes also sold faster, so more homes sold, and they sold faster. Not dramatically, about six days faster, but that is a nice improvement. The average in Berry Creek right now is 88 days. A lot of people think the market is just blistering hot, and, well, it is, certainly compared to a few years ago, but the suburbs of Austin don't sell quite as quickly as Austin itself. So Georgetown and Round Rock and Cedar Park and Lander are all suburbs. They don't really move, homes don't move quite as quickly in suburbs as they do in the Austin area itself. So we are seeing about 88 days as an average in 2014 in Berry Creek, which is a little faster than a year ago. The average sales price increased also nearly 10%. The average price in Berry Creek is $367,440. So that's a nice sign as well. Now that's not in itself an indication of the appreciation because if a few more expensive homes sell, for example, that'll raise the average price a little bit. But buyers were also willing to pay close to 5% more per square foot. Now per square foot is not the way to value a home, but it does indicate what buyers are willing to do in the market. Now, Berry Creek has a very, very wide range. Unlike a lot of subdivisions, which are very, very similar housing, Berry Creek has a variety of housing. The price per square foot ranged from $68.55 to $162.34. That's dramatic. Now, the low end was a foreclosed home, and the high end was a very high-end custom home. But the bulk of Berry Creek is going to sell between $100 and $125 a foot for the most part. The list to sell ratio just shows what buyers are willing to do in their negotiation. Buyers paid a little closer to asking price in 2014 than they did in 2013, which meant the average Berry Creek home seller made about an extra $1,500 just because the market's better and buyers are willing to pay closer to asking price. The success ratio simply means the homes that went on the market, how many actually went to closing. Now, it actually decreased a little bit in 2014. Not enough to really be a concern, though. Over 70% is really pretty good. So 72% of homes that went on the market in 2014 actually went to closing. Once again, a slight decrease from last year, but not a concern. So the summary is that the number of home sales in Berry Creek is up. The average price is up. Price per square foot is up list to sell ratio is up, homes are selling faster, and the success ratio is slightly down, but not enough to be a concern. So Berry Creek is still in a strong home sales trend. And remember, you can see all homes for sale in Berry Creek at cberrycreekhomes.com. And feel free to keep up with the real estate activity in Berry Creek at berrycreekthisweek.com. This is updated every single week for your convenience. Thanks so much. Make it a powerful day. Bye-bye.